Today we'll be learning how to remotely control any computers with this tool right here. Now before we go any further, remember hacking is illegal and you have to ask your mom for permission first before you start hacking. <laughs> now here are the steps to make this hack happen. So the first thing we need is either a USB rubber ducky or a flipper zero, which is the one that I showed you earlier. And within it, there is this feature or function called bat USB that will allow us to load code or scripts and execute on them once it is plugged into the USB of the device, whether it is a laptop or whether it is a desktop, as long as it has USB, once we plug it in and executes onto this code, and the code that we want to write can be one to download an executable into the target machine and then executing on it or directly executing on some code that is available in the machine itself natively that can allow us to remotely control it. And before we run this code, before we plug it right in, we need to ensure that we set up our Kali Linux listener that is listening for connections. So once it's been downloaded, executed over here, this give us remote control of the machine. So basically, it's game over. So you can see right here, we have this Flipper Zero, which is a Tamagotchi looking kind of device. And within it, if you click right in the, the center or the middle button, and if you scroll down further, there is this feature called Bad USB. Just click onto it, and there are several you can see here, we have many different example code that you can run like install QFlipper on GNOME, Mac OS, Windows, demo Chrome OS, demo GNOME, Mac OS, and Windows. So it works for a lot of all these different operating system. And I have written a couple more scripts that we can use to run it directly against the target machine. So what I'm gonna do now is to demo to you how this bad USB work. So the first thing you need is of course the computer. You can see in a backdrop, that is the computer and I have a USB cable over here that I'm gonna plug it in to the Flipper Zero. So once I plug it in, I'm gonna show you the first demo for it, which is pretty simple and straightforward. And once it's plugged in and secure, you can see that there's a green light over here. I'm gonna click onto the center button again. All right, and I have the demo for you. So I'm gonna use the one on Windows, okay? So this is the one that is by default out of the box that you can use. So I clicked onto it and it states the following, right? And if you watch carefully, if you watch carefully, I'm gonna click run and you see the following. It's popping up, lots of words running right now. This is how it automatically inject tags, open up notepad, do lots of things directly against your computer. And this is how the code looks like. So if you see over here, we have the following. This is the default one, which is demo window. So you have one, we mark. So it wants to target opening up the Windows Notepad and it delays a thousand. All right, followed by GUI R, which launches the run. All right, then followed by Notepad. So it enters string Notepad, runs and enter. Okay, and then that's how it's able to inject the following string as well into Notepad and all. So this is literally how the script looks like and how it works. So it's pretty easy to understand what's going on and we can start writing our own code for it. So I have an example code over here and what it does is that you can see the following. We enter CMD and then we navigate to this specific directory which is temporary photo. And this is possibly a directory that can allow us to write more things. And then we launch PowerShell to download Netcat, which will give us a ability to execute and give us a remote shell from here, okay? So I got Kali Linux running over here on the left side. And what I'm gonna do is to go ahead and locate nc.exe. All right, so it's right here. And I'm gonna copy USR share Windows resources to binaries to nc.exe, super user do. And I'm gonna copy over to var www.html slash nc.exe, hit enter on that. Enter my password for Hacker Loy. So now we're gonna host this NC Netcat file inside Colonel machine so that the target machine can download it. So what I'm gonna do now is enter sudo systemctl start apache2.service, hit enter on that. And let's go ahead and check on the status, whether it is up and running. 
Okay, so it's up and running. You can see right here, active, running. So we're hosting the file right now. And I can enter IP ADDR. And you can see this is the IP address of Kali Linux that'll be hosting this malicious file or file that we can then use to give us a reverse shell through the execution of the target machine. What I'm going to do next is to set up our listener. So enter the following NC and LVP 4444. Hit enter on that. So now we're listening. And all we need to do is plug in the USB to the target machine, execute on it, and we get our reverse shell. Okay, so right now we are back to Flipper Zero, and this is bad USB. I'm gonna go ahead and click onto it. And remember earlier I was showing you the default one, which is the demo windows, and I was walking through the code with you on demo windows too. So I'm gonna click onto it, and now, there is one more click to run the script. So if you watch carefully on the backdrop, I'm gonna click and run. If you watch carefully, executing right now, boom. If you go over to the left of the screen, you can see right here, we now have connection. So it's game over. We now have remote control of the entire computer. So once again, we have this example PowerShell script that when we run, it launches Firefox into Mr. Hacker Lloyd's YouTube channel, which of course is the most good looking hacker ever. And we wanna convert this into the same script so that we can launch it too. So this is an example of how we converted it. And again, we are just targeting with the open run dialog, which is GUI R, and then followed by a delay. And the reason why we need delays is because Sometimes if you just run the script or the string directly, it is going to be way faster than the application can load. So in this case, we're introducing a little more delays. And then with that, you can see over here, we run the same instruction through the run PowerShell, all right? And then we hit enter on that and then boom, we get access to Hacker Lloyd's YouTube channel. And to upload file over into Flipper Zero, it is pretty easy. All you gotta do is just download QFlipper and once you plug it right in, you can just click onto the file manager. And over here, I'm in SD card, bad USB. Just do a right click on this, click upload file. And I have this demo Windows 4 that was just showing to you how we converted it over into this script. Double clicked on it, it's now uploaded. And once you're ready, just hit back over into Flipper Zero, execute on it, we're good to go. You know the drill. We're back here once again, and this is Flipper Zero. Just click onto bad USB. And now we got a new file, which is again, demo windows number four. And once you're ready, just click onto it. So watch carefully once more, click onto it. All right, click run again. You see, it launches it. And then of course I got it onto my left screen over here. So it's loading right now. So boom, once again, Mr. Hansel Bloy, Mr. Hackaloy is right here on your desktop. So let me know what other creative hacking things you want to see from Flipper Zero.